CRN Digital Talk. You're listening to Silver Moments with Dr. Marsha Baltimore. This is Dr. Marsha. How are you? I want to talk about what a financially confident woman does. First of all, she knows her financial condition. The financially confident woman knows what she's got. And she knows the following four tasks. She can balance her checkbook. You have to learn that, ladies. Guys will help you, maybe. Your husband, your accountant. And your computer will help you. It can balance for you. That's the first thing. The second thing is you have to know how to prepare a personal financial statement. What do you own and what do you owe? And you subtract the O from the own and you get a leftover number because you have to pay your debt if, or your children have to pay your debt if anything happens to you. So you have to be able to prepare a personal statement and it goes down every month in debt and up every month in value because you keep paying down a mortgage. That's what happens. So those two things, balance the checkbook, prepare the personal financial statement, and then for your every day and every month's work, you have to develop a spending plan. Every day, every month, you know, once a month. How much for food, how much for mortgage, if it's mortgage, or rent, if it's rent. How much for gas, electricity, etc. What are you mandated to spend? You have to know that. And then you have to know what's coming in to pay it. That's the fourth thing, the cash flow statement. Comes in and it goes out what's left. Can you go to the movies on what's left? Can you put it in the bank, give it to charity? Those four steps are what you're going to do to enable you to become a financially confident woman. I'll repeat them. Balance your checkbook. Repair, prepare a personal financial statement for yourself and your husband, your kids. Develop a spending plan by the month and prepare a cash flow statement, what's coming in and what's going out. And that beca becomes financial confidence for you as a woman, and you're not going to worry about it once you learn how to do it. You'll just do it. So now we're going to switch our hats a little, and we're going to see how you can retire without worry. Now, the man who wrote this book is Robert Reby. He's a certified financial planner, and he published this from the Reby Foundation in Danbury, Connecticut. And it's very official. So you would like it if you never did it before. You'd have a plan. Now the first thing about it is it might be too late for you if you're 85, you can't start developing a plan. But if you're 50 and you're a baby boom or going into that, you sh mandate yourself to, f to develop a plan. Mandate yourself. Because otherwise, you're not going to know where you're going. And that's like getting on the road to nowhere. So figure that out. So the first thing I would recommend is how to retire without worry. Contribute the maximum you can to your retirement plan at work. If it's government and they have a max, go to the max if you can and tell your husband or your, if it's a guy listening, tell your wife. And both of you put in as much as you can and that's gonna make your life a lot better when you get older. Then what you have left, you put some of that money to work somewhere the way you like to work. If you wanna buy a property and lease it, that's one way. If you wanna buy stocks and watch them, as it would happen today, I don't know if you wanna do. But if you want to, you have to think about it. And then you have to figure out what's going to happen in, say, 20 years, 15 years, whenever you think your retirement is going to come. What's going to the dollar be like? So you have to look at that future somewhere. I don't know where you get the crystal ball, but you have to anticipate it based on some kinds of standards that have happened before. This particular stock market is, has never been matched. It's so um, significantly different. We can't predict from it at the moment. But watch what people say and be careful. Now, calculate your retirement income based on what the formulae are that your work gives you and that your broker may give you. 
and see what's going to be there at the end of the rainbow. And every year you should reassess that retirement plan and progress with it. And try to increase your savings every time your standard of living and earning power increases. In other words, if you get a raise, give a percentage of it to the retirement. Don't skip that. And rebalance your portfolio. Like right now, what it, what's happening is unprecedented. So talk to your broker. Take his advice or her advice. So make your money work for you. And that is Mikhail. He's blowing his horn for you. We want you to do the best you can. CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California,